Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only. Now, you may be thinking, what am I playing? This is actually a really, really extremely old game that was like, I believe, 2010 or 12, I believe? Do not remember, but it's called Sword Girls Online. Now, this is a collectible card game that was way before, like, Hearthstone and all that. Before all that even came to light. Now, this game was really fun, and I actually enjoyed it, but this is a fan-made one based off the original one that had uh, closed down. Now, I don't remember why it was closed down. I, I Probably lack of money, I believe. I don't remember. Because then again, I remember it being quite easy to craft cards. But, I'm going to be showing off the game a little bit. And so, before we get into it, um, this is an all-female card game. So... Yeah, it's mostly anime, so it like won't be for some of you guys who dislike anime or stuff like that. But well, some of you guys will probably be trying to get into some new type of card games. But the reason I'm mostly doing this is because Area Games is down for managing all their games and websites. So yeah, and I just remembered that I had this installed on my PC. I played it like when I first had saw it, but. I stopped playing it for a while. No, it does not have full screen. I just pretty much just Windows, like stuck it into my um, OBS. So yeah, I really hope it um, gets full screen soon because full screen would really help a lot. And now we're in the lobby right now. So I don't think I'm actually gonna get any PVP battles because nobody's actually on right now. Players online, it's just me. Because, you know, some people haven't really heard that the game's back or, you know, probably haven't even came upon the game because it's so, like, on a low right now. So, yeah, so some of you guys can actually check out this game. But as I come over here, there is a dungeon that is pretty much like PvE. So you guys can explore the dungeons and everything. I did not try to get into that. So we're gonna lead that match and go to deck once we can. Yeah, surrender the match. Don't really care. All right, so here's my deck. Now, the way this game works is that you have spell cards and you have followers. And you also have a character card, which is pretty much like, you know, that character that you use that has like different abilities and all that, and it does it like every round. So this is my um, character card. So what she does is after every turn, a random follower gets increased attack and stamina. And the first card in my hand gets sent to my deck. And also, if that card that's sent back into the top of my deck is of my faction, it actually gives a random follower on the field plus two stamina. So I could potentially get plus four stamina. So yeah, this card is really strong. So it's more of a save you from discarding all your cards and pretty much just gathering the same card over and over again if you have like a card that resends a destroy card back to your top of your deck and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how it works, but first I'm gonna explain everything for you guys. Now there are four factions actually in this game. Vita, Academy, Cross, and Dark Lure. Dark Lure is what I'm using right now, which is pretty much like vampires. Vista is pretty much like clubs, like school clubs. Academy is just pretty much like um, royalty and cross is pretty much like knights. Neutral is just pretty much all around and empire I'm not really sure what that is but we'll look at it when we get the chance. Now we're gonna go to lab. Now lab you can go to the science lab to craft different cards. Now you can craft character cards Followers and spell cards of any faction pretty much. I could just keep scrolling to all these. These are mostly all the character cards in the game. Now this game is very, very 
good and fun if those of you guys who are looking for a good strategy card game. Now there are some spell cards that interact with your character card, like this one. If your character has Sata, I think that's how you say Seta? Sata or Seta? But if a character has Seta in the name, it gains plus four life back. So potentially if, let's see, let's fight, try and find a character card. For example, um, Seta, Seta, Seta. Oh, nope, that's definitely not her. Where is she? There she is. So if I was to use this card, Seta, Santa, Seta, I would get plus four HP back. So yeah, there's a lot of cards that interact with your um, character card. So you guys would have to be in depth and just look at all the cards and see which ones you would want to craft. Because there are tons of cards, I believe you'll spend more time building your deck than actually getting into battles. Because this is a collectible card game, so yeah, you guys are going to spend a lot of time reading all the skills and everything. Because there's a lot of cards that interact with other cards and you would have to build a certain way. So that's why I love the game, because there's so much strategy in to try and build your deck. And it leads me inside of the... Um, Pretty much inside of crafting so long because there's so many cards I could craft. So there's requirement cards to where you can just gather a whole bunch of cards and craft a certain card, or you can craft it through material, which I can do. There's two ways to craft: have the cards or have the material for it. So there's a lot of in-depth crafting to it. And character gifting is pretty much gifting a character and, you know, pretty much getting their, I guess, giving them bonuses. Like, I guess, HP and all that, I guess. I have not really tried this out. Now, I could buy it, but, uh, hold up. Which one am I using? Santa Irie, I believe. There she is. But I don't have her right now because she's currently in my deck, so I can't do that. Now, the music isn't working right now for some reason, so yeah, rip. So I'm going to be putting my own music on it. Now, a library is just pretty much selecting your sleeves and your coin flip, and your opponent can actually see those. Um, back to the lab. Now, here's the gym where you can upgrade your followers. There's different types, there's special and advanced and normal. Now, I can pretty much browse for like a random card. Uh, let's put this one in there. Double click. As you can see, I can just upgrade her. I don't have the uh, materials for it. So, rip. But. Once you guys learn a game, you'll be a little better at it because it's actually really simple and easy. Uh, you have train cards to where you can actually train them here as well. So I could just browse up a card and put one in and I could pick the time of how long I want it to be in there. I'm going to pick 24 hours. And now the timer goes down of how many points she would get before she levels up. Now I. I was wrong. They don't actually gain uh, another skill as they level up. At least I don't think so. But they actually level up their either their stamina, attack, or defense. Here is your attack. Here's your defense, and here's your stamina. Here's your card size of how how many you can put in there. But I'll show you guys that when we actually get into gameplay. Here are coin swaps where you can get different coins and get special units like the Halloween ones that are going on right now but I only have two red, red coins so hold on uh, I need goat coin oh, I actually have a few of those so I don't think I would have 10 though by the time I was done with that no I wouldn't have 10 so I can't get it right now but I'm pretty sure you can earn those inside of uh, dungeons as well. You can actually come here for material as well to uh, exchange for coins and stuff. So let's say if I want to buy that. 
I can get a few points out of it. You wouldn't get a lot of it because you're using like random coins. And you also get random resources as long as you're logged in. So if you want to farm that, you can farm that. Now, on-site campus is, was, well, yeah, was pretty much just searching for material, sitting a, uh, one of your girls into there and searching for material, like ores and all that. But apparently it's not up right now. Whoops. Back to the lab. Alchemy is pretty much just transforming, uh, yeah, just transforming accessory to a different accessory. So if I wanted white ones, I could just click on the green up here, then change it. Or you can just type in the number here for 20 times. So do I want to do that many? Sure. Why not? So this is a daily one, so you can't do it way too often. Each of them gets their own, so that's good. And then there's card exchange, to where you can exchange in cards for like points, I believe. This isn't working right now, or at least I'm doing it wrong or something's not happening. I have not spent much time in this section, so you guys would have to try and figure that one out. Now they do have a shop too. You can actually buy points if you guys want to support the game. And you can actually use the points you have on your account. So, uh, which one was my point? I have my gold right here, my tokens right here. Tokens are pretty hard to come by. So, all right, 20 tokens for just this pack. Do I want to buy this booster pack? Yes, let's buy one of them. So I would get a random one out of here. Now, you wouldn't get the whole booster pack, you would just get a random card out of it. But, I believe you can also buy just normal decks. But here's the boosters and everything, but you would still probably get one out of it. So that's why they have multiples. Alright, with all that out of the way, there's ranking too. There's some people who are already up there. There were a lot of players, but, you know, it's actually school, school right now, so... Some players are probably not even on, but let's go ahead and do a match and I'll tell you guys how it works. Now, I'm going to go to this one since I'm already pretty much knowing of everything in it. Now, it's going to match me up with an NPC. I don't think you could change any of that right now. So now it's just loading in everything. All right, now we're in. Now here's my character card, the person who's gonna be taking all the hits. And I was gonna flip to see who goes first. She goes first. We're red, they're blue. Now I have my uh, follower cards right here. So certain followers can be put in certain squares as well. So let's say if you had like, uh, do I have a skill here? Nope. But, you have 10 points for a size, and you got a timer over here. But, you can only put in 10 as max. So let's see, I'm going to put in her. That's just, That just took up 4. I'm going to put up 3. That's 7. It's pretty much like a size game. Just pr try and strategize. Some of the um, skills actually lower your certain your followers or different spells size. So you can actually potentially put in more. Now here's your um, deck and your trash to where they die and your recycle points. Well your shuffle points so you can shuffle for a better hand. But you would shuffle the same size in your hand I believe. Yep. Shuffle the same size in your hand. So now I have 10. I'm going to let it go. And there we go. Like this, this is a skill. The first enemy and uh, follower inside the third slot is swapped. So pretty much like if she, if she right here was in this slot right here, they both would switch like stats and everything. But she wasn't there, so that card didn't work out. So you gotta pretty much read your cards and if you don't read your cards, then 
you won't get anything out of it, sadly. Now my turn is over, my... Yep, my character card is activating and putting in all the stats and everything. So you can actually potentially make a strong deck. Now I'm going to put this up because that gives me more defense. All followers and, and even slots. Oh god, that's one slot. So I potentially have to put in something. Okay, this gives me five shuffles. So I want to keep that. Well, put that out. Um, this one, I want to put you in four. So that just makes it all even. So now she's in fourth slot, so she would get this. All right, so I'm starting this round. All right, that card just pretty much deactivated this card from attacking. Uh, pretty sure she's dead. Now I'm pretty sure they attack at random. But now that card's over and it died. I believe that card was glitched too to where it would stay on the field and just keep constantly keep giving defense. So this card of Witch Lantern, um, her enemies, so if I put this out, any of her enemies that would have like high defense, I would get increased by. So let's say if she had two points of defense, I would actually get two points of attack and stamina. So that was actually pretty strong as well if you were a defense character just building up on that. So she could potentially just take out anything she wanted really fast. That's why I put her in my deck for people who kept going the high de defense route. My bad. <laughs> that hiccup. So now she goes up zero because she's attacking somebody with z like zero defense on it. So yeah. So I'm pretty sure you guys get it. Uh, so I just got an error. I believe the game's gonna... no? But we'll see. I'm not sure if the game's gonna crash or not. I hope, hopefully it's not. But, as you can see, I build a strong deck and I know how to use it. It's been a while since I actually played, so I still remember a lot to it. So, once I win this, hopefully you guys will understand. But, there's also another downfall. This damage does not go to HP. It's your size. So, let's say if I had a size 5 card, I would take 5 HP off her. But since this is size 2, I'm only taking 2 HP off. And there has to be no more followers just to attack directly. So, yeah. I'm going to read this. All followers, yeah, oh, oh yeah, all non-dark lore followers on your field and all on your opponent's field loses two attack, two uh, defense, and two stamina. All followers with lowered HP get, oh, okay, yeah, I'm just going to use that, why not? Because I don't have to worry about it, because all my followers has more than, um, zero so I wouldn't have to worry about that all too much and the cards have pretty nice art as well if you guys like um, anime art you guys could just hover over it but you know if you hovered over things it would just go over here I believe there's a way where you can uh, go into options and change it to where it would actually be clicking and that's it so if you click the card, it would just pop up over here instead of hovering over it and changing all the time. So I'm pretty sure I wrapped up over here. Ah, oh, wait, wait, that's another thing I forgot. I just won. It gave me like a ranking and everything, but you guys can't see it since I windowed it in because it wouldn't show in game capture. So if I destroy one of your follower, its size. So let's say your uh, follower has three, three size. If I was to kill that, you would take 3 damage. So it's pretty much, if I attack you with a size 3 follower, you would take 3 damage. If I kill one of your followers who has size 3, you take size 3 damage. 
So that's pretty much how the game goes. So you want to kill their followers and you don't want to lose any of your followers. And you want to have high... Um, you want to have high size, but you don't want to risk it too much because if, let's say, if you had a size 10 follower, you would be taking size 10 damage if they destroy it. So that's pretty simple and they pretty much left it all out there for you guys. So I finish, I get a crap ton of loot because this is uh, beta. This is the beta of the game. I could keep going, but I'm going to stop it here. Hope you guys enjoyed and want to check out the game. I'm going to be playing a little bit more because I'm actually back to being addicted to this game because of all the crafting and everything. But hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.